Please give it up for Linnell Moyes. Mud Mothers. The children of Haiti are not mythological. We are starving. We're eating salty cakes made of clay. Because in 1804, we felled our former slave captors, the graceless losers sunk vindictive yellow teeth into our forests. What was green is now dust. And everyone knows trees unleash oxygen, another humble word for life. They took off with our torn branches, beheaded our future, stuck our breath up on pikes for all the world to see. We are a living, dead example of what happens to warriors who, in lieu of fighting for white men's countries, dare to fight for their own lives. During Carnival, we could care less about our bloated, empty bellies. With our voices, we are dancing. Where there is voodoo, we are horses. Where there are drums, we are possessed with joy and stubborn jamboree. But when the makeshift trumpet player runs out of rhythmic breath, the only sound left is guts grumbling. And we sigh to remember that food and freedom are not free. Is Haiti really free? If our babies die starving, if we cannot write our names, read our rights, keep our leaders in their seats, can we be free, really? If our mothers are mud, if dead Columbus keeps cursing us and nothing changes when we curse back, we are a proud, resilient people, though we return to dust daily, salt gray clay with hot black tears, savor snot cakes over suicide. We are hungry, creative people. Sip bits of laughter when we are thirsty. Dance despite this asthma called debt, congesting, legendarily liberated lungs. <laughs>